BT's Body and Balance is sponsored by Canada Diagnostic Centers, offering MRI, X-ray, and ultrasound services in Calgary and Okotoks. Today is World Cancer Day. This week we're hearing that fewer Albertans are being diagnosed with the disease, which is great. Fewer people are dying. Uh, this is thanks to early detection and prevention. Health specialist Leah Sarich joining us with why it makes so much sense mm -hmm. to focus on preventing cancer, and you're talking about a cool new tool this morning. Yeah, we are, but let's first put things in a little yeah. context, as I like to do. So while those numbers are coming down, and that, of course, is fantastic news, the reality is two in five Canadians will still be diagnosed in their lifetime. Wow. Those are big numbers. One in four are still expected to die from the disease. So we're making progress, but we need to make more progress. So this is why we talk about prevention all the time. And the reason is, is because half of all cases, half, 50% of all cases of cancer can actually be prevented. Wow. So let's get our head around half. that. If, yes, half. So if we just get our head around <laughs> that and really start working on prevention, just imagine the impact we yeah, could have no on kidding. the other end of this, right? So it's about reducing your risk for the disease. We're expecting nearly 200,000 Canadians, so just over 190,000 Canadians to be diagnosed with cancer. So if we can reduce that number by half, it would be massive. Just for your own personal health, but then also the well-being of the economy, things like that, reduce health care costs. So that's another way of looking at it. The economy alone, Think the impact on health care would be massive would be unbelievable yeah. and just think about all the stuff we could do with sure. that diverted cash no, right no kidding, unbelievable right? so this is why organizations like the Canadian Cancer Society are working with the government to try to make sure this is the tag that they like to use the healthy choice is the easy choice so that's what they're trying to do for all of us and it's why the society is so passionate about helping each of us understand what our risks are so we can work on that prevention and this is why they've come up with this new tool that we've talked about it helps us understand our very own personal okay. risk so it's an online interactive tool this is it right here and it's kind of cool I actually went and tried it out myself and let's be clear three-quarters of Canadians look for health information online I bet, yeah. so that's why the Canadian Cancer Society wanted to get this tool online so it's called it's my life I tried this out you put in your own information so that was okay how many people do you think uh, you know with cancer and then you put in some of your risk factors and that is my number 41%. 41%. What does that mean? So what does this mean? That's my lifetime risk of still getting the disease. Mine. Wow, okay. And I think of myself as a healthy person sure. with a healthy body weight. Well, I don't yeah, smoke. All that stuff. I exercise. And still my lifetime huh. risk is 41%. So I found that really shocking. So the tool can be very revealing and really informative. You are putting in your own personal information so you're not just being spoken to, you're actually putting in your own information and making it personal. So um, you, the first part is cancer and me. So this is when you're putting in your age, are you active, do you smoke, do you sit at a computer all day, and then when you uh, select those options, it will tell you good work, keep it up, or hey, this is really important that you get up and move a little bit more, or again, tobacco is the number one thing. If you don't smoke, that's the number one thing you can do to reduce your cancer risk. So it really is all about learning your personal risk. So this is, for example, is what are you eating? For you know, diet, okay. Exactly. What are you eating? So are you eating meat? Are you eating vegetables? Are you eating grains? That's good. Keep it up. Things like that. And what's really neat is that once you get to the end and you've learned your risk, you can then share it via social media. So you can get all of your information out there, but then what you're doing is spreading that information, yeah. right? And you're sharing it with your friends you're and your family. Trying to get other people to do the same thing, Exactly. Right? Yeah. And then you can all work together, right? to reduce your risk. So that's why it's really important. So we want to get this message out there. 50% of cancers can be prevented. So try something like this tool and do what you can. Very cool. All this information will be on All your blog, All my right? blog, including a link to that tool. Ah, there you go. Breakfasttelevision.ca. That's where you want to go. All right, good stuff. Thanks, You're Leah. You're very welcome. 41%. 41% for me. Sounds like a neat tool. I'm going to do that <laughs> test once we get off air this morning. Uh, we're going to check it with